Yo, what's up guys, it's Suraj from Tech Devoted and welcome to probably the last best apps video for 2017. This time around, we've got 20 apps and I've actually invited my friend Dharmik from Android Tricks to share his top picks. So we're doing 10 each. Do check out his channel. He does a lot of Android tricks and tips and stuff like that. So I'll leave his channel as well as all the apps we talk about link below. But without wasting any more time, let's jump right into the video. My first pick is called Easy Scroll. What this app does is it automatically scrolls for you. So when you install it, a floating widget pops up on the side and you can just swipe up or down and it'll automatically start scrolling in that direction. It's pretty nifty for apps like Twitter, Instagram and Facebook where you gotta do a lot of scrolling. Well, thank you Suraj for having me here. The first step on my list is auto input. Face unlock is the next popular feature which every device will start having. But for now, those who have an old device, they can check if their phone supports the Google smart lock feature. If it does, then set up the face unlock and then install auto input. In here, you will find an option to dismiss the keypad, which will allow you to open your phone like the OnePlus 5T. As you can see it over here, I do not have to swipe up on the lock screen of my OnePlus 3T. Bacon Camera is a manual camera app that's rather simple to use. Now for anybody unfamiliar with manual camera apps, these apps basically let you manually adjust all the settings like exposure, white balance, etc. As opposed to the auto mode built into your stock camera app that adjusts everything automatically. Now while Bacon Camera, just like a dozen other manual camera apps, supports things like raw format, histograms, time lapses, panorama, etc. What really sets it apart is it's free and it's good. And that I don't get to say about a lot of the apps out there. It's definitely worth a shot. The latest version of Android supports a lot of new features, but one thing which you are going to hate for sure is the Android Oreo emojis. To get the good old emojis on your device, you will have to download Emoji Changer and then give it the root access. In there, you will find an option to change the emojis to whatever you want. Honestly, the iOS 11 Beta 2 emojis are the best, so go ahead and install them. As you can see it over here, this looks way better and way familiar than the Android Oreo emojis. App Browser, as the name implies, is a super app that lets you try out other apps without actually installing them. While it doesn't have every app that's on the Play Store, it's got the more popular ones like Facebook, Twitter, Ola, Book My Show, etc. So it's got the essentials covered from pretty much every category. And the goal again here is to just have one app for the basics instead of having multiple apps. And the experience honestly is not half bad. It's of course stripped down, but I can totally see myself composing a Facebook post or booking my next ride or ordering food through app browser. I often don't include wallpaper apps on my list, but this application is surely going to help a lot of you in some or the other point of life. We all need stock images for presentation, thumbnails, posters, etc. And any wall which you download from this application is free to use even for commercial purposes. It is an awesome application and it has a lot of varieties which you can download. The link is down in the description box below. Launcher Launcher is a launcher that aims to bring you pixel-like features at absolutely zero fee. It's got things like Google Now integration, custom icon pack support, which is by far my favorite feature. Then we have dock customization and so much more. It even has a popular Google Now Pixel widget. So no complaints here. And as I said, it's free. So it makes that much more accessible. I am a big fan of OnePlus devices and I usually love the stock walls which they provide on all their smartphones. This application is your go-to place for getting wallpapers of any OnePlus devices. Right now I am rocking the wall of the OnePlus 5T on my device and it looks brilliant as you can see it over here. Unless you've been living under a rock, by this point you probably already know Bitcoin price has been skyrocketing lately and if you still haven't hopped on board or don't know how to buy Bitcoin, ZebPay is just the right app for you. The app is pretty straightforward and contrary to what a lot of you may have thought, buying Bitcoin is no rocket science. So open it up, register with your phone number, set up your PIN and now you can go ahead and press buy and purchase Bitcoin. Now obviously you don't have to buy a complete coin, you can buy a certain amount of bits and the app directly lets you type in the amount of Indian rupees that you're willing to invest so you don't have to do the math and calculate 
how much one bit is each time. So for example, if I type out 5 lakh Indian rupees, the app will tell me it's roughly 0.6 of a Bitcoin. So you just enter the amount you want to invest and press buy now. Now at first, the buy button will be grayed out because you have to verify your account before you can actually make a purchase. So to do that, simply hit check status on the top and it will walk you through the verification process. Now to make this a bit more rewarding for you, go ahead and purchase your Bitcoin through my link in the description. That will give you an extra 100 rupees worth of coins on your first purchase. There are a lot of gallery applications on the Play Store and some of them have way extra features or some of them are filled with bloatware ads. This application called Focus Go is a 1.4 MB application which is only one purpose of showing your images which you have on your SD card. There are no fancy features but it is clean, ad free and well organized. Get Current Wallpaper is a straightforward app that extracts the current wallpaper from your home screen and lets you share it to different apps or just directly save it to your gallery. This app really comes in clutch when somebody asks you for your wallpaper but you don't remember where you got it from. The next step on my list is called 17 Track and it is all-in-one tracking application which tracks parcels from across 220 carrier companies. If you order a lot from websites like Banggood, Gearbest, Wish, etc. It really comes in handy. You can track multiple packages and get notified on their updates. The best thing about this application is that it is free and it does not have any ad in the application. Launchboard is an app that aims to completely replace your app drawer. Now while that's a bit of a long shot, I do think this app is pretty nifty, especially if you got a lot of apps on your phone. So what this is, is like a standalone app search bar. You can put it on your home screen like a widget and every time you need to open an app, just search up the name on Launchboard. Now additionally, you can also favorite your most used apps by long pressing the app and selecting a set as favorite, thus saving even more time. It's a nifty app that I use from time to time. People have been talking a lot about the iPhone X gestures lately, especially the swipe up to home gesture which they say feels very natural. If you are on Android, it's not really hard for you to try it out. Just download the all-in-one gesture and set it up so that every time you swipe up, it will go directly to the home screen as you can see it over here. Sleep in Seconds is an app for those of you nocturnal people that are up at 3am flipping bottles not knowing how to sleep. This app is seriously magic. All you gotta do is open it, plug in your headphones and choose the sleep mode. You can choose between night sleep, power nap and flight sleep. It plays some sort of music that just magically puts you to sleep. It's hard to explain in words, you really have to try it out. The next step on my list is the game which I have been playing a lot lately. It is a badminton game with decent graphics and amazing controls. You can either play practice match or tournament and you will have to beat your opponent with some tactical thinking on how he will not be able to play the shot which you play. It's a fun game, link is in the description box below. Up next is Retro Music Player and first off, I have no idea why they went with the name Retro uh, because the design is by no means retro but uh, this music player is actually pretty functional and has quite a few tricks up its sleeve. The moment you launch the app, it asks you to enter your name and add a picture and this I feel just adds a bit of a personal touch, I haven't seen any other music player do this. And the design of the app is actually pretty modern slash minimalistic and I really like it. Uh, they also have three themes uh, which are light kinda dark and dark. It's also got a sleep timer so you can set the app to stop playing music after a certain amount of time and then we have my favorite feature which is the equalizer. This gives you complete control over the track you're listening to and to make it sound even fuller you can add things like reverb so all in all it's a pretty cool music player that I do recommend checking out. The next step on my list is called Hooks. It is one awesome application to get notified about everything you want. You can create hooks for anything you want, be it Bitcoin price drop, websites ranking or one which I would highly recommend is to create a hook to get notified about my videos which I upload on YouTube. YouTube seems to not send notifications a lot of times so if you have this application you will always get notified about cricket score, football score, YouTube channels etc. Alright guys, wrapping up my list is Buckist. Buckist is a pretty straightforward bucket list app. 
Adding an item to your bucket list is as simple as hitting the plus icon and typing out the details. You can give your item a title, a category, target date, etc. To make it a bit more interesting, you can even give it an image. And if you're stuck in a block and just don't know what to put on your bucket list, you can even check out the inspirations tab that the app has. This basically shows you what other people are putting on their own bucket list. So in case you like something, you can add it to your own. Let me know your craziest bucket list idea in the comments down below. My craziest one is to make a trip to the United States exclusively to shop shoes. Maybe I'll be able to turn that into reality one day. But do let me know what yours is in the comments down below. I'd love to strike a conversation. This is another awesome game which I have been playing recently. Here you have to control the spaceship like figure and make it reach to its end point within the given time limit. So that's pretty much for this video guys from my side if you liked my content go ahead and click the link in the description box below I'm sure you'll find something interesting over my channel But that about wraps it up for this list guys if you like this video give it a like if you didn't uh, let me know why you didn't like it it's been Suraj thanks so much for watching take it easy and stay devoted On the way down screaming Whoa! And we'll be alright oh, 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 oh. It's not much but